Now let's move to another grammatical rule. It's reported speech. Reported speech. What is report speech and why do we use it in English? Report speech is a way is a way how we report what someone else has said. In this case, we change some of the words he said, but retaining the same meaning. For example, here, look at this picture. What do you think he needs? I think he needs a help. So he may say, could you help me? Could you help me? What did Alan ask us? What did he ask us? Alan asked us to help him. Alan asked us to help him. So, the words that he said, could you help me, is a direct speech. But the second sentence, Alan asked us to help him, is indirect or reported speech. We repeated what he said. Okay. In the report requests offers, we use some verbs. We can use the structure reporting verb plus two plus infinitive. Look at this example. Can I help you? Can I help you? It's an offer. Yes. What did the woman say to us? She offered to help us. She offered, not the verb here, offered to help us. It's reporting verb. The reporting verb. And to plus infinitive. So in the offer, we use to plus infinitive, also in imperative in general, and in the Okay, not the reporting verbs that we can use in this structure include offer, promise, agree, refuse, suggest, etc. Okay, now this guy says, I'll work harder. I'll work harder. What did Jackie say? Yes, correct. He promised. He promised to work harder. So in the promise also, we use two plus infinitive. Okay, when we report orders, requests, warning, advice, invitation, extra, we can use the structure reporting verb plus object plus two plus infinitive. Can you tell me how to read the word, John? What did the girl say? Of course, the girl asked John to tell her how to read the word. So notice here the reporting verb, then the object, then the two plus infinitive. So it is the structure of a changing and reported speech, the changing of pronouns here. Okay, also when you change reporting verbs, for the example here, tell, ask, order, warn, remind, advise, invite, etc., whatever the purpose was, you must learn these uh, verbs. I think you should do your homework, Amy said. What did the mother say to Amy? I think you should do your homework, Amy, the mother said to her daughter. What did the mother say to Amy? The mother advised, so the mother here introducing advice to her daughter to study. So the mother advised her daughter or Amy to do her homework. Reporting negative orders, promise or advice. In the same way, we use this structure, not to plus infinitive. 
again not to plus infinity for example if i said to you do not be late again do not be late again the teacher told the students not to be late again and if the doctor asked or advised you not to smoke in the direct speech she will say don't smoke a lot but in the reporting in the report speech we said the doctor advised the patient not to smoke a lot and here are some more examples do not eat too much sweets do not eat what did he say the doctor what did the doctor say to the patient here what did the dance say huh? or ask Joe to do? The dance asked Joe not to eat too much sweet. Not to eat. Not here the structure. Not plus two plus infinitive for the negative. Thank you. Also, in the reporting speech, you have to change the pronouns. The pronouns. According to the one who said the new sentence. For example, here in the pronouns, I, you, me, my, yours, etc., etc., we usually change the pronouns from first person, I or me or we, into you or your, second person. For example, I, me, we, us. However, we do not need to change the first person pronoun when the speaker is reporting his or her own words. Look at this example. Please be careful when you pass me the box. Be careful when you pass me the box. What did the woman say to the man? She asked him to be careful when he we change the pronoun here he passes her the box not the changing of me into her okay Susan here said please get me down Tim can we change this sentence yes of course she asked Tim to get her down do not show the balloons she asked them not to shot the balloons. Now the difference is so clear for you. And this is a complete sentence. Okay. Don't be afraid. Do not be afraid. What did the vet say? She asked, she asked the dog not to be afraid. Do not move. Do not move. Huh? The report speech here, he asked the dog not to move. He asked the dog not to be afraid and move. 